This time I'm going to look at the equation y equals x squared plus 2, say. I know this is quadratic because of the exponent. It tells me for sure when you have a power of 2 on an x, you've got a quadratic. But let's look at it in other ways. Let's start again with a table like we did with linear and pick some x values. You can pick any x values you want. You can pick a billion, a billion, and one a billion and two, but why not make your life easy? Pick zero, one, two, three, and sub them in. When you square zero, zero times zero, that gives you zero, plus two is two. When you square one, one times one is still one, plus two gives you three. When you square two, two times two is four, plus two is six, and when you square three, three, sub it in here, three squared is nine, plus 2 is 11. Let's do one more just to see what happens. 4 squared, 4 times 4, 16, plus 2, 18. At first it doesn't look like there's much of a pattern, but then when you check the first differences, you start to see that there is. Let's do 3 take away 2. 3 take away 2 is 1. Let's do 6 take away 3. 6 take away 3 is 3. 11 take away 6. 11 take away 6 is 5. And 18 take away 11 gives 7. What you see here is a very distinct pattern, again, underlining the fact that it's a quadratic. The first differences are all increasing by the same amount, and the second differences are all equal. It doesn't have to be these exact numbers. It could be 1, 7, and so on, going in a different pattern. Neither does the second difference have to be 2. It could be all 3s. But whenever you see first differences, going up in an equal amount, the same amount, and you see the second differences are all equal, you know it's quadratic.